the, uh, the Jean Molay uh, chair is a, is a very good idea. I've organized um, meetings and symposiums in, in various places around the world for several month periods, but this one is sort of unique in that it gives you an opportunity to actually evolve something, uh, some sort of program. And I think it's a very successful thing, which I hope will continue into the future. La chair Jean Morlet, ben, d'abord, c'est un des programmes phares du CIRM. C'est avant tout un ou une mathématicienne de premier plan qui est au CIRM pendant six mois et qui anime avec une énorme énergie un programme complet autour de conférences, d'écoles, donc avec des jeunes, euh, et puis un livre à la fin. When I was here for those six months, I was fully immersed in doing mathematics, in organizing mathematics, in interacting with other mathematicians, while enjoying the fact that this is my park, this is my home for six months. It made for a wonderful environment, that there is a right combination of solitude, where we here are isolated from the distractions that are outside, while at the same time having access to the mathematical community nearby as well as beyond. As far as I understood, this molar chair is to enhance communication between mathematicians. And this uh, is, uh, I think, the unique job in the world, the Moray chair. I never saw this kind of idea. And I think this makes mathematicians happy. Uh, the people that come here, myself included, but also many of the visitors, are interacting with a lot of the mathematicians and people that are already here. And so this is a way that like mathematical ideas get spread. Uh, in my case, it was really after a long period of intensive project work at home and teaching uh, to again reach out for new, new, uh, um, for new contacts and for new uh, problems. And in this way, I was able to have different visitors at different times and uh, that was a perfect place to do such, uh, such an exchange. It was not the big theorem which we have now here and we publish it for years but everything combined together and many new things came in and now they have to be digested and people have to interact to work on them but it's not just proving theorems oh certainly i made a progress on a number of problems uh, and i really enjoyed this that there's some of them were problems I tried to attack for many years and I finally found a way. Uh, it was also very enjoyable to see that other people started working in this direction, sometimes with me, sometimes independently. So yeah, I enjoyed it very much. So we have many uh, exciting projects as part of the Jean Morlet chair, one of which is to explore the connections between mathematics, computation, and art. Uh, so creating imagery and create, doing computational work uh, can often help inform mathematical discovery. And there we saw examples where a new illustration of an object led to new conjectures and new discoveries. So we want to try and do things like this with centering on ideas of geometry, these surfaces, and you get beautiful and interesting images and beautiful and interesting mathematics, and the two can really inform and connect with each other. And together with Nicola and Pierre Arnoux and Olga, we are going to be organizing a conference, a workshop where we bring mathematicians and artists together to try and collaborate and see what they can produce together. So if you look at the number of registered participants from Marseille, so it's really huge. I think that it's really they like what is proposed by, by the semester. And for me, I would say, well, that's that's the best place, Marseille, Sirm, that's the best place where I can realize the program which I, which are, I, I really proposed. Pour que ce programme ait lieu, eh bien, il est important de remercier tous ceux qui le rendent possible. Donc, tout d'abord, nos tutelles qui nous soutiennent jour après jour sur les programmes du CIR, mais en particulier sur la chair. Donc, un merci particulier à l'Université d'Aix-Marseille qui finance le salaire de la chair. Donc, à la ville de Marseille aussi qui participe au financement du programme. Un grand merci aussi aux équipes de l'I2M qui, année après année, font vivre scientifiquement ce programme. 
Et enfin, un merci aux équipes du CIRM qui le rendent possible. It's really an opportunity of a lifetime. Uh, there's access to people here and a uh, time away to, to really think about not just the applications, but also uh, with the expertise of people around here about the computational methods and about the mathematical theory that we may need to develop in order to be able to grapple with the kinds of problems of, uh, in the applied world. I had the chance to speak to many different people and uh, to know different fields of mathematics. And uh, regarding the University of Marseille, well, uh, well I, I give a, a series of lectures at the university, so I had the chance to speak with the group uh, in um, hyperbolic dynamics uh, and to give uh, some series of talks. Uh, and the students came to the school, to the workshop. Some of the students, the students of Sasha Buffetto and Posto came here. Students here uh, taking part, for instance, in, in the research school, they get to know the leaders of the field, they can discuss uh, their own projects, and we also had the opportunity to give all the younger uh, PhD students or postdocs the opportunity to, to give a short presentation in front of the experts, and I guess uh, this was an interactive way to, to start discussions and this probably helps the students too to continue uh, their research and to build up uh, a network. The chair has been very successful for me in starting new collaborations and, and creating a lot of synergy with the group in Marseille. So I think I will be around often. And yeah, in my plans, there is a lot of cooperation with the Singularities group here. You know, you have this uh, research by, by binome, you know, binomial research. So, so you invite two or three, four per person that are uh, very close collaborators to you, to the, the chair. And, and then you work for two weeks or three weeks. And then this that was, was really fantastic for me. Research in pairs activity is something in which uh, every day we meet and discuss and we eat lunch together. So uh, it's also to get to know people. I think it's uh, very good. Le succès, c'est grâce au lieu, le fait que les gens viennent en résidence. Ça, c'est le premier point. Le fait que le lieu soit attractif et que les gens viennent, c'est le second point. Mais la, la grosse, la grosse inconnue, qui en fait s'est très bien passée, c'est qu'il y a un co-cher, comme je disais, et il faut que des équipes marseillaises aillent dedans. Et il se trouve que depuis de nombreuses années, les équipes marseillaises sont très contentes de le faire. À chaque fois, on trouve des gens qui sont soit des seniors, qui connaissent des seniors et qui, qui veulent porter un projet avec une grande visibilité, soit même des, des, des collègues qui sont un petit peu plus jeunes et pour qui euh, une année un peu de, de césure, de décharge d'enseignement, euh, réussissent à se concentrer à fond sur leur recherche avec quelqu'un qui a déjà une très bonne visibilité sur le sujet, mettre tout ça en place, c'est un excellent euh, booster pour la carrière. Also the role I think of the co-chair, yeah, it's really something that is based, it's not just someone who's flown in from far away and starts something, it has a long preparation, two years almost in my case, and the co-chair is indeed essential since the organizing thing, things locally in France even if you've been exposed to uh, French people before, it still can be fairly complicated. Due to the pandemic, I was unable to go to Lumini and most of our activities were held online. Still, it was a great program with many outstanding participants and great lecturers. In particular, the staff at the CIRM has been tremendously helpful in organizing all the activities during the most difficult time of the pandemic. I would like to express my wholehearted appreciation for their support and help to make the program a successful one. It was a strange semester, very much affected by COVID-19. So I had to uh, switch uh, my first uh, planned event. This was the research school on quasi Monte Carlo methods and applications, 
within, say, three days from a hybrid event to a purely online event because of lockdown. And uh, we had a series of online mini courses and uh, also talks. We decided to uh, try to, to have this, uh, this spirit of discussions and we had some problem sessions and discussion sessions uh, after the mini courses. That's one, one aspect of the, that I think that worked well to, to try to mimic this informal discussions also in the, the online format and the, I don't know how, I'm not sure that I would be able to do it again, but we managed to do so. So I think that was one particularly nice experience that I have a very good uh, memory of it. Uh, I was running here basically like I run in Geneva, I had money to invite people and I can pay them travel, I can pay them to be here. And this is, uh, in Geneva, this is outstanding as well, but this is not like this in every place that I've been before. So this is a real privilege to have a budget attached to have these conferences, to have means of having people really come and sit together. For mathematicians, sitting together at the Blackboard is the laboratory for other research areas. And I think it is a paradise. And uh, you guys are very privileged to be here constantly, but of course you are not staying here, you have to go home, whatever. When you stay here, you know, when in the evening when everything is quiet, that's the best time. I mean, and actually on Saturday and Sunday when the conference are gone and the whole thing is for you and uh, there is complete uh, tranquility and calm, that's uh, unbeatable. And of course I like hiking and uh, Kalangs here are a fantastic place for hiking and uh, it's so beautiful here and so inspiring. So it is a paradise and it's a mathematical paradise and you're in a unique place really.